Happy Friday! Hi guys! You guys! <laughs> Long pause. So, you guys send me the sweetest messages ever. I just want to tell you, just a second ago, I read just the sweetest message that I got from one of you. Sorry, struggling with these comments. <laughs> Give me just a second, y'all. Sorry. So, you guys, you guys are just the sweetest. I just want you to know that. Hi, Julie. Good morning. Hi, Wanda. Hey, Jay. What is up, my friends? So, like I was saying, you can't hear me. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Let's try it again. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? How are we doing? Let me, uh, let me look. You guys, I've got to get a new microphone. If there are any of you out there that, oh goodness, if there are any of you out there that have any recommendations, let me know because this one is just really giving me fits and I don't really understand why. Seems like every single time I move it from the, um, the camera to the iPad, it just, I don't know, something happens and it stops working. So, Eve says, all good now. Good. So glad. So what I was saying was, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> I just want to kind of stick around on that thought for just a second because I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate your messages and your sweet, sweet sentiments to me. I, You guys, you make my day. Like, sometimes I can be having a bad day. Like, I, I'm just like everybody else, right? I don't... Um, I, I try not to let it show when I'm having a bad day if I do a Facebook Live and you guys know like based on the schedule that I posted like I got a lot of Facebook Lives going on so I'm very very visible and sometimes I'm having a bad day right I have a bad day just like everybody else and no matter what is going on in my life I still have to smile and like do a live right even if something not so great is going on right or if I'm not feeling too good if I've got a migraine headache yesterday I had a headache that was awful but I try to not show those kinds of things because I have a job to do right and I just want you guys to know that I read your comments even if I don't respond to every single one of them I read your comments I read the messages that you send me when I get to them like Keep it up with all of the different places where messages come. It's just, yeah, that's just a whole nother story. But I just want you to know that the things that you guys say to me, the comments that you leave me and the messages that you write me, um, I want you to know how much that means to me. Um, feeling a little sappy sweet, but it's just because I just read one. Like I literally just closed out my email. Um, and I, I just read the sweetest message from Lucy Roberts. So Lucy, if you're out there, I just got your message and I'm going to write you back. Um, but it, it makes my day. And when I'm having a bad day, all of the virtual love that you guys give is just, that's what gets me through those headache days, you know, or those days where I woke up grumpy. I mean, I'm normal, just like you guys, right? I wake up grumpy sometimes. My feet hit the floor and the devil's like, oh gosh, she's awake, <laughs> right? I mean, we all have those days. So <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So I just want you to know that I, I appreciate your love and your kindness and your support. It means absolutely everything to me. So you are loved right back at you, you know? All right. So I love you too, Miss Angie. Love you guys so, so much. Like you're the best part of my day when it, well, I don't want to like leave my fam. like my kids are my best part of my day, like at home, but you guys are the best part of my work day, I, you know, and, and a lot of times, um, you know, you guys are the best part of my night too, because I oftentimes read your messages just right before I go to bed. So then I'm always uplifted and, you know, try to be in a good headspace when I go to bed. So, oh gosh, Maria says, you make mine too, especially those painful and painful and slow days. I know, right? It's like September flew by, but at the same time, I feel like since this whole quarantine thing, like some days just really creep on by and it's like, oh my gosh, is this day ever going to end? 
So it's nice that we are building such a great <laughs> community with each other. I see you guys talk amongst yourselves, you're friends with each other, you know, and I love that. And I consider myself friends with you guys. You guys are family to me. So just know, just know you are loved so, so much right back at you. Okay, so on that note, is the lighting weird or is it just me? Did things get really dark? <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. This iPad, the microphone, I'm, I'm in all types of need of some technical help here. <laughs> oh, gosh. So today's project, keeping things in the love kind of mode, I thought I'd give you an easy one. And this is actually um, one for friend out there, Miss Colleen. I saw her. Yeah, Jane, I am dark. I don't know how to fix that. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know how it went dark, <laughs> but I did notice that it happened. So my friend Colleen is out there. Colleen and I just um, just recently became friends, right? And we've never met each other in person, but she's part of our BD family now. And Colleen did not know much about memory wire and so we did a memory wire project on Monday over on Jesse James Speeds for our Maker Monday that happened at 7 p.m. and while we were doing that that's when I discovered that she was not very familiar with memory wire um, and I mentioned something about uh, the flat memory wire and there isn't any flat memory wire on the Jesse James Beats website but it is a Beatalon product so I absolutely can shamelessly plug it because they too help to keep my lights on <laughs> so I thought you know let's do let's do a flat memory wire project for Friday so this is going to be really easy this is not a hard one but this might be an introduction to flat memory wire to those of you who have never used flat memory wire before. Part of the reason that I love this so much is because of that wide surface area, which I know it doesn't look very wide when you're just kind of taking your first little glance at it, but in comparison to the round memory wire that has a tendency to be very, very thin in diameter, this flat memory wire gives you a surface that you can actually lay beads onto, right? You can wire wrap onto the surface here. There are a lot of options when it comes to the flat memory wire. So I thought it would be kind of fun to play with it. Just keep it easy, simple, and fun. And of course, we're going to use some of the new Nightmare Before Halloween beads that are available at Jesse James Beads because I love Halloween so dang much. And I'm really missing Halloween this year. I don't know if you guys, um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, outside of our little... Um, relationship that we have here on Sarah Ellis Designs, but I just posted, you guys, a lot of you know, I do a Halloween haunt every single year. And this year I'm not doing a Halloween haunt because of COVID. And my neighborhood has really kind of strict regulations about Halloween this year. And we're really just all trying to be safe. And so running the haunt this year is not something that we're doing, which makes me really, really sad and kind of depressing because normally this time of year, I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Like that I'm trying to tie up loose ends and finish scenes and, you know, do last minute things. And this year I don't have that. So to have this release of the Nightmare Before Christmas beads from Jesse James Beads, it fills a tiny little hole in my heart for Halloween, right? Because I'm just missing so much of that action and so much of that excitement. So having this bead release that came out, what, two days ago, it's really, really cool. The beads are beautiful, even if you don't like, um, the Nightmare Before Christmas, right? If you're not a fan of that movie, that's okay because the beads are still gorgeous and they're gonna work for so many different things. Like there's an orange mix that is just burnt orange, like deep, warm orange tones and it's very fall friendly, not necessarily Halloween. You can make it Halloween if you want to, but it is absolutely just a beautiful fall mix. And the one we're gonna to use today is Trick or Treat. And I love this one because of all of the pops of color. And you can see just from the uh, what's visible here in the package, the pops of color in this are amazing. Like this has my friend Jane, it has her name all over it because of the different shades of purple that are in here. There's like a really bright kind of pinkish purple. There's a dark purple. There's some deep purples. There's blue, green, orange, yellow. I mean like 
this is how you do Halloween when you just love color, right? And so I thought this would be a really beautiful mix. We're gonna wire wrap this on to some of our flat memory wire. And then I thought it would be cool to play with even more color. <laughs> I just so happen to have color in my life. And you guys, these are all Beetle On artistic wire spools, okay? And I've been with Beetle On, gosh, probably 10 years now. I mean, it's been a long time. And over the years, I have a, a very vast collection of artistic wire in color because I've used it in so many different projects. And unfortunately, this past year, a lot of this color has been uh, just kind of sitting around haven't really been doing anything with it So I thought this would be a fun project <laughs> to pull out some of the beautiful artistic wire colors, right? I even have a Christmas green on the top like green and There's black purple orange yellow. I thought it'd be cool to kind of wire wrap some funky chunky like design on the fly sections into our flat memory wire so I, I haven't actually executed this project I know that it's going to be an easy and fun one, so I thought that's what we do. How do you guys feel about it? You want to do something fun? <laughs> We're gonna, anyway. <laughs> Jana says the more color the better. I love color. I really love color, and I, I would love to see some colored artistic wire over on the Jesse James Beads website. Maybe I can sweet talk Sarah into that because the colors are so much fun to play with, you know? But even if not, you guys know I've got tons of colors, so if you want to see a design in a certain color, chances are I probably got one. <laughs> Probably have a roll of wire in that color so you just let me know um, let's see anything else that I need to mention yes so before I forget you guys super super important tomorrow night maker mysteries episode 2 is happening 8 p.m. Eastern time over on YouTube that will be uploaded and those of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel you will get a notification of course I will post it on Sarah Ellis design so that you guys can go directly to it if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel um, you guys that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day today I actually have a short Facebook live with Juliana um, for jewel loom at 4 p.m. Eastern this afternoon if you want to pop in and say hi to us um, that would be great we're announcing our winner for the month um, so come hang out for that and then know that I am working furiously behind the scenes to get the uh, finishing touches on the Maker Mystery episode 2 okay that's coming tomorrow so um, just set your reminders make yourself a little note okay all right guys let's get down to it let's take a look at these beads I also want to mention that I've got two of these okay um, one pack is gonna be enough to give you a really beautiful bracelet, but if you um, if you want to just like really make it crazy cool, grab two packs. You totally don't have to. We probably won't use both packs, but just in case, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of beads for this, okay? All right, let's get down to it. Let's dump out some beads and let's make something cool. So, let's do it. Okie dokes, guys. So here's our little bowl. We're gonna dump out our beads first, just so that we can kind of take a look-see at the colors here. So many different colors. The one thing about the cage beads, I love cage beads, but sometimes beads get stuck in there. There was a purple one stuck in there. So got some hematite colored cage beads, which I love hematite. That's one of my favorite metal colors. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Sylvia. How are you, my friends? There are uh, some tassels in this. There's the black tassels, the purple tassels. There are some blue and black beads that are just so cool. I really, really like those. I think those are really neat. I have no idea what this little thing is. This is a piece of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the green that's in here. There are two different shades of green. So one is more like a teal colored green. It's like on the blue side, but then this one is kind of a lime green color. There are pops of this really beautiful orange that is definitely Halloween-y, if you will. The blues in here are very night sky blue, which is really, really cool. So there's a lot to work with here. The cubes, you guys know, I'm a fan of the cube. I love it. I love a square bead or a rectangle bead. So just to make this even more, <laughs> more, more, I'm gonna dump this one in there too, okay? So yeah, we've got two. We've got two in here. That just means that I've got even more 
you know, of the colors to choose from, okay? All right, now let's take a look at the flat memory wire. So you're gonna treat this the exact same way that you would your round memory wire as far as what you are going to be using um, as far as tools are concerned. You definitely want to use your memory wire shears to cut this stuff, or you want to use, let me grab that other pair of cutters that I have. I have this pair of cutters and this is a beetle on cutter tool. This guy is a heavy duty cutter, okay? Don't get it confused with my blue one, right? This is my flush cutter. This is the one that I use for almost everything, but this guy right here, this is a cutter that is specifically designed to cut really thick, thick wires, including the memory wire which the memory wire is not necessarily thick but it is tempered steel so essentially you're ha you have to have a cutter that will cut through steel otherwise you're going to destroy your cutter so make sure that you've either got one of these heavy duty guys or the memory wire shears and of course these are more economical um, as far as price wise is concerned but if you happen to have these in your stash then you can use those as well. And you also want to use your memory wire finishing pliers to create your loops on the end. You can use round nose pliers or your small bell making pliers if you want to. Uh, it just kind of helps that these are not tapered so your loops are gonna be consistent every single time. And while we are talking about the flat memory wire and you can see that awesome surface area that is there, Actually, let me pull up the Beetle on website before I get too far involved with what I'm about to say because I don't want to tell you about something that does not, they don't have anymore. Um, once upon a time, I'm just going to check the website and I should actually know this right now just off the top of my head, but I don't unfortunately. Okay, so they do still have them. So you can get, if you don't want to do loops on the ends here, you can get flat memory wire end caps and they are available through Beetleon and it is just a little, it looks like a, it looks like a bead, a very small bead and it has a slot in it and you just slide the end of your flat memory wire into it. Add a little dab of glue to that and it's good to go. Okay, so you don't have to do the loops if you don't want to. I personally love the loops because I can add extra dangles and tassels and fun things hanging from them. But just know that if that is not your preference, that there is a, um, a finishing cap for the flat memory wire. Also, there are some cup chain pieces that you can slide on to the flat memory wire that you can actually set your own... Um, you can set a bead in them or you can set your own stones in them. Those are really cool as well. So if you've, if you've never really, um, you know, investigated flat memory wire, there are a lot of things that you can do with this stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's super cool stuff and there are a lot of options is basically what I'm getting at. Okay, but we're gonna use it the standard way. We're just gonna wire wrap onto it. We're gonna add some of these gorgeous beads and we are going to use some color, right? To go with all of this. Now the question is, what color should I start with with the wire wrapping? I think, I thought I was just gonna go with like, uh, I thought I would just go with like a gold. But then when I looked at the mix, I don't know. Maybe I should go with silver and then we'll just add pops of color to that. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll go with the silver. I'm gonna go with some 24 gauge wire for this. And we're gonna start with just, we're not gonna start with a lot because the cool thing about this kind of project not only is it easy, but it's really easy to add wire to this, which makes that really, really convenient as well. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, I probably don't need this much memory wire. Let's cut some of this down a little bit, and then we will turn our loops at the end. So I'm gonna use my, my shears here and give that a cut. I'm gonna move those out of the way so we can, we can focus a little bit. All right, so we've got a little over four loops here, okay? Now, 
I'm gonna turn a loop on one end, which since we're wire wrapping, you don't actually need to turn a loop on the end just yet because your beads are not gonna slide off, but just so that, you know, just to, to keep things like I normally would do them. So I'm just gonna use my memory wire finishing pliers here just to turn a loop at the end. And I always get it kind of crooked at the end. So the one thing about, and I just don't want you to, to be, um, you know, surprised about this, is that the flat memory wire, sometimes the loop that you turn at the end does not want to close completely. So you have to really kind of manhandle it. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to roll again. I'm really, really picky about the loops on the end of my memory wire, which is probably why I should go with the end caps. <laughs> Just so, uh, you know, I save myself the frustration, but sometimes just working with glue is just not my favorite thing to do. All right, see how that loop is not completely closed? You can squish at it with your pliers and completely close it. If you're gonna add dangles and things to this, you wanna be sure that that loop is closed, right? Um, but I'm, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time really fighting with that at the moment. Not until I'm ready to add some dangles, which I probably will. <laughs> As you guys know how I feel about all of that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are just going to take some of our wire here. And we're just going to anchor this onto that flat memory wire. So I'm just kind of laying it across, giving myself about two inches of a tail. And I'm just going to wire wrap onto that surface, right? And then I'm gonna come in with my blue cutter here and trim off the excess, okay? And then I'm gonna slide that down and I'm going to give it a squeeze because I want it to really be secure, right? You squeeze it down, now it's not gonna slide back and forth on you, okay? All right, now we've got this cool flat surface that we can add just about anything to. Let's start with some small beads here. Let me, let me put a mat down so things don't roll away and we'll just kind of select some. What if you roll the loop and follow the shape of the wire? I'm not, I'm not sure if you, oh, if you roll the loop in inwards instead of outwards. Yes. And that's the, it's the same with, um, with round memory wire. You can roll the loop in or out. It's really just kind of up to you. Um, as far as like the loop closing, it, it, it closes just a tiny bit better if you do it on the inside. Um, but it does, it does wear a little bit differently. So I'll, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. But yes. Okay, so I wanna start out with some small beads here. So I'm gonna pull out some of these really pretty purples. And I'm gonna do like a little section of four of the purples. So like I said, this is gonna be super easy. And you can do this with seed beads as well. You could mix seed beads into this and that would be awesome. So I'm just gonna drop one of those beads down. I'm gonna lay it onto the surface of the memory wire, right? And then I'm just going to wire wrap to lock it in place. And if you want to be really, really uh, specific about the way that your bead is going to lay on the memory wire, you can. Let me show you what I mean. And I think we've discussed this before with some other components where we have wire wrapped beads to the surface of a component. Um, I'm gonna do one this way and then I'll show you what it would look like the other way. So I'm just doing three wire wraps in between here. Okay, now, that just kind of locked that bead in place. When you're looking at the bead, right? When you're looking at it from the side, you can't really tell too much, but it is sitting kind of 
at an angle, right? It's sitting at an angle. The wire that's going into the bead is shorter than the wire that is coming out of the bead. So it's going in at an angle and then it's kind of dropping off back here. And so it makes the bead sit kind of like this at a diagonal, right? And on one side, obviously there's more wire. If that drives you crazy, it actually doesn't drive me crazy. I kind of like it. That's just kind of the way that I wire wrap most beads onto components. But if that drives you crazy, you can very carefully, let me thread on another bead and I'll show you. You can very, very carefully make sure that your bead is sitting perfectly on the on the surface of the memory wire and that your wire going into the bead and coming out of the bead are exactly the same, right? And that's gonna sit your bead, mine's a little bit far off of the surface, but you still get the idea here. If you just take a little extra time, right, you can sit that bead directly straight up and down so that it's not sitting at an angle, okay? So, that's the two different ways that you you can you can set your bead onto the wire um, and it really is just personal preference i find that this technique where i measure out and make sure that the wire is even on both sides and that the the bead is sitting straight up and down just takes a little bit more time and sometimes that it's not worth the frustration to me particularly when we're using beads that are in different shapes like we are with our mix here okay um, but it's totally up to you and either way it's going to be beautiful I like mine sitting at an angle, so that's the way we're going to do it. So, I again, whoops, I slid that wire wrap down in, into the loop there. Okay, so again, I'm going to wire wrap about three times. And, <coughs> excuse me, two wire wraps is all you need to attach your bead. Uh, once you get to three, it's really just about decoration. It's not necessarily about function, right? Um, you can <laughs> wrap some cord into this. Uh, all of the technical things around here, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So after three wraps, you're like I was saying, you just kind of are just getting decorative and you can add as many wraps in between as you want. Um, you can mix it up. You can do, you know, two between some and five between others. It's really just going to be kind of uh, up to you. Look at that. I even tied a knot. How does that even happen? I'm not going to fight with that today. Nope. <laughs> it's Friday. I'm not living that kind of life. We're not going to fight with the wire today. Okay. So I'm going to add two more of the purple beads. Okay. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> just drop that right on out of my fingers. It's okay. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So there's that one. Let's sit that right where I want it. You guys are so sweet. I see everybody congratulating our friend, Miss Sarah James. She closed on a brand new house yesterday. She is now a proud homeowner. And it's such an exciting thing. Really, really exciting. I'm very happy for her. She's putting down some roots. Oh, goodness. That bead, I'm telling you, he's just, he doesn't want to play today. Oh my gosh, Wanda. <laughs> I read that at first and I was like, what is she talking about? And then I got it. <laughs> Wanda says, let me know if you want in on the timestamp <laughs> pull for when the bell rings. Yeah, this wire flipping all around here. I'm, I will definitely ring the bell sooner or later. All right, there's my fourth bead. Add this one on. So the difference with this, obviously, than with the round memory wire is that your beads are sitting on the surface of your wire instead of actually being, um, you know, where you just string it onto the wire. However, however, I do want you to know that there are some beads that will fit 
right? You totally can just string bead straight on if you want to, right? Um, you do have to just be mindful of the bead holes. There are some beads that obviously are not gonna fit on the flat surface memory wire if you want to string them. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Seed beads, for instance, those are not gonna be the ones that are going to thread on. Um, but so there's that guy, right? And now I've got my wire here. I could cut my wire off and just start a new um, little group of wire, you know, just wire wrap again and start again. But I'm actually gonna just wire wrap across the surface of this bead and then wire wrap next to it, right? Flat memory wire is so much fun, I'm telling you. Okay. So there's that. So kind of mixing it up a little bit, right? Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to, I wanna wire wrap a section and you're gonna see why here in just a little bit because I've got all that colored artistic wire that we're gonna use here in a little bit. I wanna wire wrap just a section with no beads that, I don't know, maybe an inch worth, okay? And what we're gonna do after we wire wrap and thread on whichever beads we're gonna do, we're actually gonna take some of that memory wire and make, I mean, some of that colored artistic wire and make some kind of wire beads, just messy wrap colorful sections onto this, okay? And you can either just leave the memory wire blank in those sections, or you can do like I'm doing and just just wire wrap around with your, your wrapping wire. Either way, um, you just wanna leave yourself some of those little sections for the little fun extra stuff that we're gonna do in between some of these beads. And those sections can be as big or as small as you want them to be, okay? Hi, Donna, how are you? And guys, those wraps, they're not perfect. You see the spaces in between there? Totally fine, because we're gonna cover all this up with some really cool colored artistic wire. So it doesn't matter what it looks like, you know? Doesn't make any difference. I'm just trying at this point to get from point A to point B. Okay. So there's a little section there. Okay, now I'm gonna pick out some more beads to wire wrap on here. Let's go with some green. Let's do three of these gorgeous green rondelles. Oh, this green color is amazing. Drop one of those down. Okay, and just lock that into place with the wire wrap. Oh, did you hear it? The bell rang. <laughs> oh, goodness. Didn't take long. <laughs> Okay, there's three, we're ready to add another green. Drop that one down. <laughs> one that says winner, winner. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know what, actually, speaking of winner, winner, I didn't announce this, um, but let's have a let's have a little drawing at the end, shall we? Who wants who wants to win a prize? <laughs> that just gives you some incentive to stick around, right? Let's do a little drawing at the end. I've got a couple of things here in my my bag of magic jewelry making tricks. I've got some items I've been sitting on for giveaways, so let's do let's do a little a little giveaway at the end. All right, so there are three green beads. I think those are beautiful. Yeah, so, so pretty. And I know it looks kind of silly here in the beginning because it's like, what are the spaces? Like, what's up with that? But you're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, right? We're just gonna string some beads and have some fun and see what happens. Let's do, let's see. Let's do three of these orange beads. <laughs> me, me, me. Everybody says me, me, me. All right. Well, you got it, guys. You got it. Okay. 
there's three wraps add another orange bead and then after we do these three orange ones let's do another little open section shall we this is going to be so pretty when it's done I can't wait it is just a little kind of time consuming and I realize I almost talked myself out of this project for a Facebook Live because it is a lot of you just kind of watching me wire wrap beads onto the surface here. But I thought, you know, it's, it's fun for everybody just to get to hang around and spend time with each other. And you can always watch the replay, fast forward through this part and get to the to the good part later or you know whatever works for you so i figured it's all right <laughs> i can't decide for you guys right that's not up to me so i'll let you guys figure out how you want to incorporate this project into your day if you want to stick around or you want to come back later and fast forward i get it i get it all right let's see well we've got three green let's mix it up a little bit and do four of the orange Robin's over here sweet talking her heavy <laughs> into getting some flat memory wire. Yes, you need it. So let me tell you, I love, I love adding different shapes and sizes to the memory wire. Um, there's, there's no joke about that at all. But one of my very favorite, favorite designs with the flat memory wire is to fill it up with wire wrapped beads that are all the exact same size just in different colors and that they are small and like these guys right here this is about a five millimeter bead because it's a rondelle so it's shaped a little bit differently but to fill up an entire like three or four loops of the flat memory wire with a, a little four millimeter four millimeter bead oh it looks so good there is just something about it look them up on pinterest or just google because there are some designs that i've seen with just like in fall colors just all one size bead all the way around wire wrap to the flat memory wire but in different fall colors or spring colors i love it i love it there's just something so pretty to me about the flat memory wire with little tiny beads on it that's why i say seed beads on this looks amazing so um you know use your bead spinner and load up some 24 26 gauge wire with bead soup you know your seed bead bead soup and then wire wrap it onto this oh so pretty all right so we're just doing another long section here but you guys know i'm partial to wire and wire wrapping anyway so of course i'm drawn to those kinds of designs you know I think that's why I love the flat surface so much because you really can wire wrap all kinds of crazy yummy goodness onto the surface of it. Oh yeah, Anita says if you use ombre colors, oh yes, yes, so pretty. I just love memory wire. It's so easy to use but the results, whether it's flat memory wire or round memory wire, it's just such beautiful, fun stuff to work with, you know? All right, so wire wrap in a section here. This section's gonna be a little bit bigger. And then the next one that we do, we'll make it a little bit smaller. We're just gonna kind of change it all up a little bit, right? All right, so there's a section. It is a little bit bigger than the last just wire wrapped section. All right, now let's, let's pick some more beads here. Ooh, these are pretty, but you know what? I think I wanna see if I can just thread these on if they'll fit. So yes, they will. These beautiful like lavender, lilac, I don't even know what color you call those, but just as such a pretty kind of pinky purple just drop those down all right okay so not wire up in those just added those directly to the wire and I'm gonna I'm gonna wire wrap around 
in between across the surface and then in between whoops where'd the other one go come back <laughs> cross the surface right and then around okay let's make another short little section here where we can add some of our colored artistic wire so just wire out I'm running out of this wire as it is so make ourselves another short little section here okay there's a little section go ahead and trim that off oh you guys I'm telling you, the love is reciprocated, trust me. All right, so there's that. All right, let's start a new, let's start a new piece of wire here. And this is what's really cool about this. You don't have to use these really crazy long sections, right? You don't have to make big long sections and fight with the, you know, an insane amount of wire. Um, don't don't make it hard on yourself that's what's cool about this is you can add wire to this and it's pretty seamless so I'm just anchoring this wire on here all right smushing that over I'm gonna trim that off okay now we're ready to rock and roll with some more beads. I'm actually going in an opposite direction this time, which is gonna kind of change this up even more. Okay, let's use these guys. I love these. Look how pretty that is. So, so pretty. <laughs> Robin, he said, he said yes on payday. Congratulations, my friend. <laughs> that is good news. Okay, so this guy is a little bit different because he's kind of long and shaped kind of funny. So I do really want to make sure that he doesn't sit in an angle. I want him to sit just like he's supposed to sit on here. So I am going to take a little extra time to make sure that the wire is even on both sides and that it is sitting exactly at the, you know, the right spot on the memory wire. You can wrap it on there at an angle if you want to, but sometimes... You know, depending on the bead shape, I can be a little picky about it. That's pretty. Let's do another one. <laughs> I like these beads. These are really pretty. I like all of them, but this green color is just, it's good. That's a good color. All right, so let's do another one. Just kind of making sure. Okay. And wire wrap that on. I wish I had grabbed some seed beads. If they weren't so far away from me, I would grab them right now, but I guess it wasn't meant to be for this. Oh, ringing the bell. <laughs> so there's that. That's really, really pretty. Let's do another just little wire wrapped section here that we can cover up. I'm looking forward to making the, um, the little messy wraps with all the colored wire so any of the little places where we can do that I'm, I'm excited about okay I want it to be sort of the same as the other as far as length okay we're getting pretty close that little section ended up being a little bit longer than I expected just because we had to add some more wire to it, but that's pretty close. It's not exact, but that's okay. All right. Donna says she loves the colors. Me too. This mix is so, so pretty. I'm telling you. Let's put on another one of these gorgeous big blue beads and let's thread it on instead of wire wrapping it. Let's just drop it down into its spot. Okay. So I thread it on, I'm gonna take the wire across the surface and then 
do some wire wraps in between there. Not really in between, there's nothing to be on the other side yet, but you know what I mean, on the other side. Okay, now what else shall we use? Ooh, I like these, we haven't used these yet. These blue and black beads, those are really pretty. Let's do some of those. So I'm gonna drop that one on, put those two down. A rainbow you can wear. I love that. Yes, a rainbow you can wear indeed. Okay, so let's talk for just a second because this is a this is a good bead to um, to kind of talk about. See how far it's sitting up off of the wire. There's an opportunity here that you can use, and you can use your colored artistic wire for this, or you can just use your wrapping wire for this. Take the wire and bundle, right? Wrap around that bead a few times. Give it a little nest to sit on, or in, rather. I like that, right? And you can do that to every single one of the beads if you want to. You can do that with the um, artistic wire in the colors. You can come back through and do that to all the beads. Make little nests for them. I like that. So play around, like wires should be fun. I feel like a lot of times people, that one ended up being a little, a little short. Let's add some wire to that. I had a, had a little extra piece. Where did it go? Hmm, well, <laughs> we'll just cut more. So I feel like a lot of times people who don't, uh, who are just stringers or maybe just seed bead people, right, they, um, they don't, they look at wire, not they don't, but they look at wire and maybe are intimidated by it, right? But I don't ever want you to be intimidated with wire. I want you to look at it as an opportunity to play. It should be fun. Don't get caught up in, oh, my, my wraps are messy. My wraps are not straight or, my, um, you know, my loops are wonky. Don't get caught up in that stuff because then it becomes a chore and it doesn't become something that's fun. And it totally should be fun. It's all jewelry making should be that way. It shouldn't be a hassle. It should be an enjoying, an enjoyable rather experience, right? And <clears throat> I, I speak from experience guys because <clears throat> I wasn't a wire person. When I very first started making jewelry, I, I made knots. Knots were my thing, right? I, I was a hemp knotter. I made lots of hemp knots. I liked to hemp, not to hemp. <laughs> I liked to knot with um, Chinese knotting cord. I liked to make knots out of nylon cord, you know, embroidery floss and <clears throat> so wire was a foreign language to me until I started working with Beadalon and it took me a while to stop being so hard on myself with it. You know, I would look at Wyatt's wire work and I'd be like, oh, I could never do that. Why won't the wire behave? It just will not do what I want it to do. It never behaves. I just can't make it do. And I struggled with that for a while and you know why it would be like you know you are the boss of the wire don't let it control you you control it it's supposed to be fun and when I kind of let go of what the rules were supposed to be and of course Beatleon is huge on um, education and of course you know why is the education director um, with Beetle On. And so education was a huge thing. Like I memorized their catalog. I know everything about their products. Um, I'm sort of a, a, a nerd when it comes to jewelry education, but there does come a point in your design life where you have to let go, right? You have to let go of the rules and just play for a little while. And that's where you develop your love and your passion for something. Wow, I just went all soapbox on you guys. 
<laughs> that little tangent, I just went on and on there. Thanks for putting up with that. <laughs> But it's true, I don't want you guys to be intimidated. I know there are a couple of you that are watching right now that are very, very hard on yourself when it comes to wire. And I have seen you struggle and you are your own worst enemy. You need to give yourself a break, give yourself grace. Um, wire should be fun, totally should be fun. You know, once you learn how to have fun with it, then you can focus on the education and the technique and all of that stuff. But all of that part should come second, you know? <clears throat> all right. So I've added wire. I've snipped off wire. We're just kind of playing around here. Look at all the colors in this. I'm just so obsessed with this bead mix. Gosh, it's so pretty. Let's do another section here of just the wire so that we can add the artistic wire to it. And then we'll add some a few more beads to this and then I really wanna play with the artistic wire, so. Janine says, is there a way to watch this again? Yes, ma'am, there absolutely is. You can, um, you can always go to the Sarah Ellis Designs Facebook page and um, there's a there's a header that says videos and if you will click on it all of these facebook lives live on for a very very long time and you can watch the replay and you can fast forward you can rewind you can pause all of that good business um so yeah you can watch this over and over again if you don't find it in the videos you just kind of scroll down and it'll be in the timeline on the page um i don't know exactly what Facebook's algorithm is and how long they keep things actively in your timeline. But I know that if you come directly to the Sarah Ellis Designs Facebook page, you'll be able to find it. I'm sorry, Catherine, I didn't mean to miss your question. What did you ask? I'm sorry. I was on a, you know, I was on a little tangent. <laughs> I was chatting away. What was the question? While she's asking that question again, I did want to mention I saw Angie had said beads herringbone wire wrapped onto this would be gorgeous. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that would look amazing. All right. There's our, there's our little section here. Um, Catherine Hicks, they told me it's 24 gauge wire. Yes, yes, yes. I'm using 24 gauge wire. Um, you, you can use 26 for this. I, I really don't think that I would go any, any bigger than the 24. You might be able to get away with the 22, but just realize that the surface of the flat memory wire is small. So you are going to kind of crowd it out when you use a thicker gauge wire. Okay. All right, let's thread on a couple and then we'll wire wrap a couple and then we'll move on to the artistic wire part. So I'm thinking I want some more of these green. Wait a minute, how far away? That'll be okay. Let's thread on the green. <laughs> and she says, you missed my joke. How long have you been sitting on the surprise giveaway? Are they warm? Yeah, they are warm. Been sitting on them a long time. You guys, you know, like I have had, I've had items for giveaway since uh, when I went to Tucson. And that was back in February. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've kind of had, I've kind of had giveaway items for um, almost a year now. <laughs> been sitting on those a while. Nice and toasty. Okay, so just adding some of the green. Oh gosh, and having a little f struggle here with this silly wire. And guys, I'm using German style wire as my wrapping wire. Whoops, I did not mean to like do that whole thing. I wasn't trying to wire wrap in between there. Um, but you can use artistic wire for this as your wrapping wire. Don't think that you know, just because I'm using the German style, if you don't have German style wire that you can't do this, because you absolutely can. German style is just my preference. And again, that just comes with, you know, I, I've used wire for 10 years, you know, in jewelry making and, and German is just my preference. But everything that I do, almost everything that I do with 
German style wire. It can be done with artistic wire. It just is going to feel a little bit different, right? Because the artistic wire is a dead soft wire, so it is more malleable. Um, and if that's what you're used to using, then don't change on my account, right? I just prefer the German style wire for wire wrapping because it has a little bit harder of a temper to it. I find that my loops look better. Um, you know, I feel like my, my wrapped loops with artistic wire are never as, as good as they are with the German style wire. All right, a couple more beads to this and let's finish off with some of the purple because they're just pretty. That's what we started with. That's what we shall finish with. Hugh Jackman's commercial for boots. I did not see that. I shall have to look that up though. So just dropped a purple one down, set it on there, right? Just wire wrapping in between. So really we've kind of played around with a couple of different techniques here, but um, you just choose whichever one you like. You can mix it up. That's what's cool about memory wire is that, you know, I mean, you, you don't have to do the same thing over and over again, unless that's the look that you're going for. I like to just kind of play around. I feel like when we play and try out different things, sometimes the results are, are really cool. Jana says she loves my watch. Can you see my watch? That's crazy. That's my birthday watch. My mama gave me that for my birthday. <laughs> no, those are not diamonds, but they are Swarovski. So <laughs> don't want you thinking that I'm like living the Hi life. I'm totally not. They're just, they're Swarovski crystals. They're not diamonds, but man, what a, what an amazing watch if it was diamonds, right? <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. So there's that. All right. We're going to call it a day with all of the, gosh, they're so pretty. I mean, just look at it just like it is. We haven't even added the extra color, you know, and it's still gorgeous. So let's trim that off, okay? And I haven't filled up all of the space here on my memory wire, but that's okay. We're gonna trim it off and finish it off. So when you cut your memory wire, Remember that you're gonna need about a fourth of an inch to a half of an inch to make that loop at the end. So don't cut right up next to where your last wire wraps are, okay? Give yourself a little bit of space here so that you can definitely make that loop. Oh, sturdy stuff there, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with my finishing pliers and roll back. Okay, so if I just put it on now, it looks awesome just like it is, right? I mean, that's a cool bracelet all by itself, but we're gonna play a little bit more and add some color to this. So let's see, what shall we start with? Let's start with, start with a little bit of orange here. Okay, and as far as the wire is concerned, I've got some different gauges here. This is tangerine and it is in 20 gauge. I've got lemon in 24 gauge, which is a really beautiful yellow. Um, let's see, I've got purple in 22 gauge. Gosh, that's a pretty purple. I also have it in 24. Just if you guys are interested in these colors. Um, I've got Christmas green in 20. I thought it would go though, you know? And then I do have just a plain black in 24. So um, I don't think the gauge really makes much of a difference. If it does, well, it's just gonna, it's, it's just too bad. <laughs> just too bad. Okay, so I'm just going to find a spot anywhere. Where shall we put some orange? Let's start with the first open space that we have here because there's not any, <laughs> ringing the bell again, there's not any orange like right in here. So what I want to do is I just want to wrap around those spaces. Happy birthday this weekend. 
I did see that. Sorry, it took me a minute to say anything. So I'm just going to wrap. And I don't, I know those look pretty uniform. I didn't really mean for that to happen. <laughs> I don't really mean for those to be uniform. It's just kind of the way that it happened. But <laughs> I'm just going to kind of wrap back and forth. Just messy, right? Just messy. We want these to look like wire wrap beads in between here. You know, have you seen the wire beads that you can make? You, you basically do this on, um, I've seen people do it on a pencil or on a paintbrush, and then you just slide them off. And you've got a, a bead that you can then, made out of wire that you can then thread on to other things. That's kind of what we want this to look like, right? Okay, there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim. Let's add another color to this, shall we? Let's see, let's put, hmm, let's put some purple. No, no purple. Maybe, maybe the black. <laughs> I have too many colors to choose from now. <laughs> And I have lost the black. It just disappeared. Okay, here it is. <laughs> oh, goodness. Too many choices. Okay. I did, Catherine. I ordered an a, a, um, Australian snack mix box. It should be here uh, in a day or two, actually. And I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I'm doing the black over the orange, by the way. Um, I'm doing the, uh, I'm going to do a Facebook live, you know, the snack shenanigans where I'm going to open it and taste it and it will be fun. Um, however, I want you to not be offended. <laughs> Please don't let it, let me offend you if, um, some of them are not to my liking. I wanted to be sure that I got a box that had Vegemite in it because I've never tried Vegemite before. Um, so I made sure that this box was going to have that in it. Um, so if I'm totally grossed out by the Vegemite, please don't be upset with me. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> I love you, but I might not love your Vegemite. Okay. <laughs> I really don't ever want to offend anybody, right? With my opening. I'm, that first box that I did, the Turkish treats, I was like, I have just totally offended an entire country. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I don't want people to... Um, you know, to be offended by what I'm saying if I taste something and it's weird. Because I know, like, there are things that we eat here in the States that other people um, do not do not like. Did you know that there are other places that don't eat peanut butter? Who knew? Who knew? I didn't know. Yeah, there are places that think peanut butter is really gross. And as Americans, we eat peanut butter on everything. And I don't know. I can't imagine life without Reese cups, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's black and orange. Do you think we should add other color to that or should we just leave it like it is? We can always come back to it. Uh, but I think that's so fun, right? That's so, so fun. So we're going to do a little section right here. Let's do, um, let's do purple. Oh my gosh. I remember that too. The Lucy with the, with the, uh, Vita, vitamin of Vegemin. That was so funny. I remember that. Yes. Vitamin of Vegemin. <laughs> the, the more she did it, the worse it got. That was so funny. I love Lucy. <laughs> All right. Yes. I feel that way too. Reese's cups. Gotta have Reese's cups. Oh no. Kathleen says, whoa, sorry. Kathleen says no peanut butter. Kathleen, what about those grandbabies? Can they not get peanut butter in your house? Oh, peanut butter is like, if I don't have chocolate, I know that peanut butter is a, is a close second. <laughs> it's a close second. Sometimes I just need a peanut butter sandwich. You know what I mean? Like, but then there are people that feel that way about Vegemite. They're like, I just need a Vegemite sandwich. So I get it, right? I get it. I'm not offended if you don't like peanut butter. <laughs> now, if you didn't like chocolate, we might. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So just going back and forth with the purple here. 
and I feel like that purple is going to need a, a, a kick in the pants. So we're going to add some yellow to this little section. Is I don't want that purple to be mistaken for black from a distance. And I feel like maybe the yellow will kind of help. Did you guys happen to catch Meredith's um, wire coiling gizmo projects? I um, The wire coiling gizmo is one of my very, very favorite wire working tools. It's such a fun gadget, but it's really hard to do Facebook Lives with it because it has to attach to the table. So I would have to have you guys sitting at a weird angle, but that doesn't mean that we couldn't do it. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the wire quilling gizmo, if you want to see some more of that based on um, Meredith's project that she did, we could always play with the wire quilling gizmo. I really love it and I love to use um, colored wire with it. And one of my very favorite things to do is use the wire coiling gizmo and coil up some wire and then use the contastic and make cones with the coils. I love that, that's so much fun. I think it always looks so, so pretty. So our little section here with our purple and our yellow, it's making the purple pop, but it's making the yellow look more gold than yellow. It wasn't really the way I expected it to turn out, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad at it. All right, and this is just like one of those opportunities, like I said, where you, like I was mentioning, this is fun, right? This is messy wire wrapping. Things don't have to be, they don't have to be pristine wraps all in a row. This can be just fun. Okay. Oh, she did the finger weaving and the contastic. I missed that. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. I um I haven't done any of the finger weaving yet, and I really really want to. So I need to go and watch that. Um, when the contastic came out, I was just kind of I had only been on the scene for a little while. <laughs> I keep putting this up here and you guys can't see anything. Um, but I'd, I had only been working with Beetle on for a, a small amount of time when the Contastic really kind of hit. And I had the honor of using it in some of the first classes that I ever taught with Beetle on. And I love that thing. I really, really do love it. It's one of my top fives. You, know, you guys know I've got a lot of favorites, but um, as far as wire tools, like my favorite wire things are the stepped bell making pliers. That's my number one. I love the 3D uh, bracelet jig, the wire coiling gizmo, and the Contastic. Those are my favorites. Really, really love all of those tools so, so much. But I was worried when I was working with the Contastic because, you know, that's Sandra Lupo's baby and <laughs> I wanted to be sure that I did a good job with it, you know. I did, but I was very nervous. I wanted to, I wanted to do right by her. All right, so now we're adding some of this. Even though this is called Christmas green, I feel like there's so much green in here in this bracelet in different colors that this green wire will totally work. Don't know what color we should add over the top of it, but we're gonna start with a green base. Contastic is one of those really kind of cool things to have in your arsenal of, of, you know, jewelry making things because you can make cones as tassel toppers. They're really cool for the ends of multi-strand designs. You can also use them um, at the ends of Kumihimo, which is cool. Um, so, I mean, I can think of a million things to do with cones. <laughs> you know? Silver, Jane says silver. Okay, we'll add some silver over the top of this. Let's kind of bulk this one up a little bit. I 
I love a fun, messy wire wrap project. All right, finish that off over here. Ooh, that's pretty. Add a little silver to the top of that. Oh, thank you, Karen. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys are liking this. I um, I feel like it's a fun one, you know? This is one of those kind of lazy Saturday projects, you know? it's You string your beads on and do a little wire wrapping, and then these little parts here in the middle with the messy wrapping, you can do this while you're watching TV or listening to music and just, you know, just enjoy it. Ooh, that green and silver, that's so pretty. Oh no, Suzanne says she can't hear what's happening. Oh gosh, Janice. Janice is watching the Chiefs briefings right while she's... Did you hear Patrick Mahomes is having a baby? Cannot believe it. Like he just proposed to his girlfriend, which was devastating, might I add. Like how dare he? Doesn't he know that I exist? <laughs> But then um, they just announced this past week that they are expecting their first baby. All right, looking good. We've got two more little, no, we've got three sections, but they're little small ones. We've got three small little sections here that we can add some more of the colored wire to. Let's just churn those out real quick, shall we? Um, let's do, let's see. Let's do a yellow base on one. Let's do the yellow, where, where, where? Let's put it right here. Jane, I don't have any red pulled out. I should have grabbed some red. I don't have any out here. I was just grabbing whatever I had on the, in the, on the top of the drawer that I thought would go with this mix. Should have pulled out some red or a lighter, like a lilac purple color because I know I've got like a I think it's called magenta on the package of the artistic wire but I mean it's it's purple as far as I'm concerned orange should we put orange over the top of this <laughs> yes more orange everybody likes the orange it's a beautiful orange color like no joke it really is a gorgeous gorgeous orange that's fun this is such a fun little project I can't wait to take the pictures of this to post it and what's really cool is that I can wear it and I don't have to adjust it my wrists are so stinking small that a lot of times I'll make a standard size project and then I have to adjust it if I wanna wear it because they're always too big for me. But the memory wire, I don't have that problem with the memory wire. Ringing the bell. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That looks good. Okay, trim that one off. We've got two more little sections. Let's put some more orange right here. Oh, thank you, Maria. I appreciate that so, so much. Really, really do appreciate that. guys I keep all these scraps I know you're looking at this and you're like why did she need a three inch tail on that I, I totally keep all these scraps don't think that I'm just like tossing these pieces because I, I don't like this this is the perfect little amount for doing some wire wrapping so <laughs> Mary says what size is the memory wire so I don't know the exact measurement on this it is flat memory wire um, so I'm not I'm not 
exactly sure what the millimeter is on that. Um, but I know that if you look it up on the Beetle On website, it will tell you what the size is on that. I wish I could pull that up for you really quickly, but the, when you type in memory wire over on the Beetle On site, there's a lot to look at. So it would take me a minute to, to find what we've got one little section left here. What should we put? What, what color should we put there? Oh, we didn't put anything over this. We need to put a pop of something over that. Hmm. Let's. I don't know what I want to use here. Let's use the smaller purple because we use the big purple. I should have pulled more colors out. <laughs> blue i don't have a blue out i wish i did you guys the blue i should have i should have gotten some blue i should have gotten some red and a different color purple to go with this just didn't think it all the way through <laughs> all right so this is the thinner gauge purple here and it looks pretty next to those purple beads that are sitting there Whoops. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Let's trim that one off. This one never got attached. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go, that looks pretty. I like that. All right, one more little section and we will call it a day with this and let's go with the big purple as our base and then we'll put something over the top of it where's the end of this wire oh my goodness <laughs> I wish you could see what things look like around me <laughs> we really know how to make a mess when we make jewelry when I said multicolored when you said multicolored wire, I thought you meant the Beetle on Artistic Wire. That was multicolor. I, you know, I didn't even think about it, but um, yeah, I guess that's probably the way that it came out of my mouth. But you know what? The multicolor wire wrapped in these spaces would look awesome. I love that multicolor wire. Gosh, it's so pretty. I want them to make more in more colors. I don't know if they're going to, but I hope that they do. All right, let's trim those off. Should we put silver around this purple right here? I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I will. I feel like that's what it needs. A little section of silver over the top of it. Messy is the only way to do it, I know. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I've said it before I'll say it again if you're not making a mess you're not doing it right if you're not um, if you're not leaving your DNA <laughs> on your jewelry <laughs> if you're not bleeding on your wire if you have not been cut or stabbed with a needle you are not doing it right <laughs> I'm totally kidding I don't encourage you to hurt yourself while you are making jewelry but it feels like most of the time I am bleeding on my jewelry making just by sharp ends of wire, or I have stabbed myself repeatedly with a needle. I mean, yeah. One time I even gouged my hand. I don't know if you guys remember, I think I posted it on Facebook. One time I was doing something with my cutter tool and I actually cut a big chunk of my hand with my cutter tool, so yeah. Mary says, if you wanna get even more crazy, you can add dangles from each of the wrapped ear. Yes! You guys know me so well, like I love dangles. So yeah, you could add dangles to all of these little areas. You could take more of the um, colored wire. And in fact, let's, let's do one just for, just for fun. Let's do a little nest for some of those green beads. Probably won't look great in this purple, but 
So like these guys right here, I'm going to add some of this purple wire. And then make a purple nest. So much you can do. You know, and I think that's that's what is so cool about colored wire is that you can incorporate it in so many different ways into your jewelry. You can always go back, right, and add colored wire to things. You can always go back and add dangles and charms and tassels to things. And the little nests, they don't have to be perfect. It's another one of those situations where messy is better. Oh gosh. See how cute is that? Yes, I like it. <laughs> Do we have an excess of this wire? <laughs> Definitely kind of overestimated a little bit as I always do. But you can do the colored nests around every single one of those. Like I could just keep, I could keep going and keep going with this, adding more colored wire to it and then come back in and add dangles and tassels and charms from the loops on the ends. Like I could really go crazy with this design, but I feel like we would be here all day. So I probably should stop right now <laughs> so that it doesn't just turn into a complete hot mess. But you know, I think it's fun. I think it turned out to be a really colorful and fun design that is a lot, a lot of fun to wear, right? I love all that color. A rainbow you can wear. Whoever said that? That was fun. <laughs> perfect, perfect example of a rainbow you can wear is this bracelet, yeah? Super fun, super, super fun. All right, I'm going to turn you guys around. <coughs> Excuse me. And, oh, Jane says, love, love, love. I'm glad, I'm glad. I think it's so fun. It is so cool to have so much color and texture and just different stuff going on, you know? And I, like I said, I could keep going. I could just keep on going and keep on going. But, you guys, same techniques can be used anywhere, right? And that's usually my goal is to show you something inspire you to take the same things that we do and turn them into other things. Those messy wire wrap spaces in between there with a the colored wire, that's gonna work anywhere, you guys. You can even do that on bead stringing wire. So like I said, if you made your beads on, you know, a um, even like a, a skewer, a wooden dowel, a really thin one, you can make these little sections slide those off, they've got a hole that goes all the way through them, and then you can string them as beads, right? Any component that you've got, whether it's a component that you make or a component that you buy, um, you can do the little messy wire wraps too. The wire wrapping of the beads on top of a component, you can do that anywhere, right? Whether it's a component that you bought or one that you made. So this is a fun, really cool, fun, you know, beautiful bracelet that we put together, but you can use this in a million different ways. Yeah, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. So, um, you know, I hope that that's what you take away from this. Even if you don't get any flat memory wire or, you know, don't, don't care much for memory wire, I hope that I have at least inspired you with this beautiful bead mix and some colors. Yeah. The um, artistic wire comes in a huge variety of colors. So if you've not checked out the um, Beetle on website and really looked at their library of colors, I definitely recommend doing that um, because there's a color for everybody and they come in different shades. So like, it's not just blue or just green. There's seafoam green and mint green and Christmas green, or, you know, the blues come in all varieties of teals. So they mix really well with like your fun, colorful Jesse James beads mixes, you know? Um, there's a, there's a, a artistic wire color that will go with everything. So 
that's what I hope you've taken away from our project today. Now, I have, did you hear that? <laughs> Wasn't you ringing the bell? But I've got a couple of things here. So this is just the beginning of the things that I have to give away. You guys are gonna have to remind me, okay? We need to try to do a giveaway like once or twice a month. So let's call this the first giveaway of October. We'll have another one a little bit further into the month, okay? So I'm not really sure what, um, what the giveaway should be. Actually, I, kind of, I know what it should be. Um, that's not, I know what the item is. So let me, <laughs> let me back up a, a minute. My brain and my mouth are not working in tandem here. Oh, Vicki says, what is the name of the mix? So the name of the mix is trick or treat and it's one of the mini mixes is from the brand new halloween collection and actually if you'll look at the description in this event there is a link that will take you straight to the halloween collection um, and that being said you guys thanks for bringing that up and asking that question so just so you know that when i drop links for Jesse James Beads, those are affiliate links. And that means that if you use that link to shop on the Jesse James Beads website, yeah, Mary says deep breath. <sighs> if you use those links to shop on the Jesse James Beads website, that means that I will get a very small commission. It's not a huge one, but I do say to everybody that, you know, I, every little penny helps and that commission I, I turn back into love for our projects. So the things that I need that, like obviously I get my beads from Jesse James Beads and I get my wire from Beadalon, but the other things that I need to keep our Facebook Lives going, that's what the commission from the sales of those bead mixes um, goes towards. So you don't have to use my affiliate links if you don't want to, but if you do, just know that it is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I cannot thank you enough. So if you want to use those links, you can. Otherwise, you can go straight over to the Jesse James Speeds website and buy directly from the website and not use my affiliate links. Not going to hurt my feelings either way. Um, but just know that from now on, I try to post my affiliate link so that you can use it if you want to. Um, okay, so as far as what the item is going to be, the items is this is actually going to be a two, a twofer. <laughs> this is a twofer. So you guys remember 11, right? And you guys remember that I, I got my 11 and truly here and I cover up the brand name because I don't work for this brand. <laughs> Uh, no offense to that brand. I just I just don't work for them. So I keep the logo that's in the middle um, I keep that covered up, but this is a metal ruler. It's, this is 11 <laughs> So if you're interested in an 11 inch ruler, which is the weirdest thing ever I've only got a handful of these. Okay, so one of the 11 inch rulers is gonna be part of this Jane says where is the link the link is in the um, description for the event that this Facebook Live was part of. So if you go to events on Sarah Ellis Designs and you click on this one, it will bring up this Facebook Live, I believe, and there's also a description with a link there. I will also post again the link for the beads onto my Facebook page as soon as we get done here, give me like five minutes so that I can I can get it all together, but I will I will post that link so that you can go directly to them. So, all right, this is the 11 inch ruler. It's still in the cellophane, so it's brand new, okay? That's the first half. The second half is, I have, I don't know if you guys know, this is a Beetle On product. These have actually been out for a while, and it is a tool case. I've got one that is in the package. This one is out so that I can show it to you, okay? It is a foldable, snappable tool case. It's got the little pockets in it so that you can tuck all your tools into it, just like this, right? And then you fold it all up, snap it together, and you throw it into your bag, right? I've got one of these that I will add to 11 so that you're not just getting a ruler because some people might think that that is a silly thing to get. But I do have these really cool Beetle On um, tool 
case covers, whatever you want to call them. They're really cool because they're kind of foamy and squishy. So they really protect your tools. I've got a couple of these. They also make the little handle covers on the Beetle On website that match. So if you wanted to get the little squeezy covers that cover the, um, the handles of your tools, they make those to match this exact little case. But otherwise, it's still a really cool case to have. And I know we're not really going anywhere these days much, not really, you know, going anywhere and doing jewelry making. But if you are socially distancing and still going to your bead shops and doing classes and things, this is a really cool way to put all of your tools in one place and then just throw them in your bag and know that you don't have to like dig around in the bottom of your bag to get to your tools. So this is really cool. So you're going to get this guy right here and you're going to get the ruler. Okay, so what do you have to do to enter? It's going to be a drawing. I have a raffle app on my phone. So anybody who enters, I can um, put your name into the little raffle and it will it'll do it for me. So don't think that I'm like being biased. I'll, I, I'll show you exactly <laughs> how it works. Um, so to enter, what I want you to do, I'm going to start a thread on Sarah Ellis Designs. Okay. For those of you who are part of the Jewel Loom Facebook group, the way we do the drawings over there, that's the way we're going to do it here. So I'll start a thread. You will post underneath that thread, okay, your entry. So what should it be? What should it be? I'm thinking I will give you from today until next week. So you've got one week, okay. I'll announce the winner next Friday during our Facebook Live create something i don't care what it is right create something using these messy artistic wire wrap sections okay however you want you incorporate them however you want to into your jewelry design but you got to post a picture of it in the thread i'll start the thread and you just post your picture as your comment okay everybody who posts a picture i'll enter your your name into the drawing to win the stuff Okay, to get the goodies. Now, it doesn't have to be, I know not everybody has the colors, right? Not everybody has a ton of colors of artistic wire. That's okay. If all you've got is like gold or all you've got silver or all you've got co is copper, whatever you've got, these little messy wire fun things, we'll just call them those, the little messy wire fun things, okay? Put those into anything, right? and post a picture of it and you'll be entered to win and I'll draw a name next Friday. Is that okay? You guys like that? That good? That'll get us going. That's gonna get you guys excited about using the wire, those of you who are still scared. I'm using this to your, your benefit, right? If you're still scared about the wire, let this be your incentive. I know it's not the greatest prize in the whole world, but I mean, the 11 inch ruler is pretty darn cool because there's only a handful of these in the whole world. <laughs> And every time I see them, I buy them so that I'm the only one who has them. Now you'll have one. So that's what we'll do. I'll start a thread so that you can post your pictures you've got from now until next Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time to do that, to put in your little, your little picture of whatever it is that you made your messy wire bundles with, okay? All right, guys. That's it for me. It has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to take some pictures of this bracelet and I will post those. I will post the link, the affiliate link for the beads, for the bead mix that we used. Also know that the bead mix that is going to be used for the Maker Mystery episode two tomorrow night, there is a link for that on my page as well. That is also an affiliate link. So I will repost that if you're interested in the bead mix. You guys, the bead mix for this mystery series includes Gollum beads. Oh, look at that. It has an iris on it. It is absolutely stunning. And the bead mix that goes with it is gorgeous. So I'll post a link for that. Maker Mystery comes out. It will premiere tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on my YouTube channel. I'll post links for that so that everybody will be able to go and see it. You won't miss it. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm working on maybe putting together a Facebook group and an email list. So let me know if those are things that you guys are interested in being a part of. I would be more than happy to uh, oblige. All right. Have a great rest of your Friday. If you want to see me again, you can catch me on Jewel Loom at 4 p.m. Eastern time this afternoon. We're going to do a quick Facebook Live. And then, of course, you can catch me first thing on Monday at 7 p.m. for another project on Jesse James Beads. Until then, have a great time, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Love you.